I'm sure many would say the key to great barbecue is the sauce. We're going to find out today from the master himself, Dr. Barbecue Ray Lampy and Pitmaster Lee Jasper. So we're talking one of your many sauces. I'm assuming <laughs> yeah, you're not true. giving secrets to everything, right? Well, this, no, this is the testing I've been telling you for a year now. We're testing these recipes. We really are. This is the one we're testing right now. It may change a little before it gets to the restaurant, but you yeah, know, we now nah, we share that stuff. <laughs> you share that stuff. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I really like too, you said about this is you're taking traditional barbecue and you're kind of making it more modern into what people are trying we've to do. We've been their promising you that since we've been talking about it. Well, now we're going to finally start to show you some of it. So what and, we got over there, we'll start with the real barbecue. That's Lee's making it, he made that pork butt. That's a traditional pork butt, American barbecue, just salt and pepper on it. But the barbecue sauce is gonna be different today and the presentation. You can start whisking well, I was that. Saying, is... Apparently, uh, when Dr. Barbecue's here, he just starts assigning stuff. And he's like, Natalie, you're whisking. <laughs> I asked if you were Somebody's sure Somebody's gotta it, be in charge of this. He, he's... So that was hoisin sauce, which is Korean barbecue sauce. Okay. And ketchup and soy sauce, pretty basic ingredients. Cause this is kind of an Asian inspired barbecue, Exactly, correct? that's exactly right. Well, I mean, Asian sauce like this goes really well with smoked meat. So we're gonna do oh, a lot of that. Really? That was sriracha. This is rice vinegar. Got to tart it up a little bit. Oh, I'm a vinegar That's vinegar That's olive fan. oil. Just needs a little bit of oil. This is sesame oil, one of my favorite ingredients. Lee told me last week he would like to keep some of this in his beard all day. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I would too. I thought I noticed the smell around here. Was it <laughs> Lee Dr. Barbecue? It's that like what you're cologne. Saying? No offense. And that was sugar, and those okay, are sesame okay. seeds. So whisk that up. And you know what, Lee? Is... I feel like I can tease you a little bit because we're always teasing you about how you call us ma'am all the time. <laughs> so that, that, that comment came from all the ma'ams. How's that? A uh, hard, uh, hard habit to break. <laughs> oh, I got it again. He's just a polite <laughs> guy, isn't he? Oh, don't I don't know. All young I don't guys know that about polite. that. I don't know. I'm feeling old. And I'm doing something out of my ordinary since we all know I'm not the cook in this world. Oh, you're doing so, fine. Am I whisking okay, correctly? Yes, it's, but it's done now. So okay, now see? you want to ladle right. some of that over the pork over there for Lee. Here we go. We'll let Lee lay it off. <laughs> yeah, he's not <laughs> as right, patient just... <laughs> as I am with you. So what we're doing, so we took that traditional barbecue, that's what it is. Now all of a sudden it's got this Asian sauce on it, and that is a bao bun, the steamed bun, steamed Asian bun. Which are such a thing right now, too. Yeah, so, but with the perfect, it goes so well with the American barbecue, and this is an Asian slaw. Now you can, we're gonna we'll see where we go with that. What kind of topping? We made a, a green papaya slaw last week that was oh. pretty good. We might end up with that, but we tried this for tonight. So if you want to try one of those, you may. Okay, and I was gonna say we already joked too. These always I get lipstick all over, so <laughs> this will be a very I interesting. I try not to. I try not to make anything too oh, messy for you. I forgot about on. the lipstick come trick. Come on, Doctor Barbecue. <laughs> Now that's the traditional pork one. And you know, I mean, it, it's just the regular American barbecue pork goes so well with that. Mm. This. Oh, no. I like the tang. There's a, there's, a kick of, there's a kick at the end that I really like from the sauce. Uh, yeah, probably, right. I the really sauce like is, that. So this is jackfruit. Remember, we, we, I told you, we're, we're gonna try to serve vegetarians. This is jackfruit. We wanna do that. You're gonna jackfruit. show love to look everybody. It. it looks like pork, doesn't it? It I mean, does. It really does look like the pork. We'll add some of the Asian barbecue sauce to that. And I'll make you one out of jackfruit. I think this is going to be fun. This is the kind of stuff we're going to do. We're not just going to look like your regular barbecue restaurant. You know, we're going to make that killer barbecue. We didn't bring Lee from Texas. Lee worked for one of the, the most famous barbecue restaurants in Texas. We didn't bring him here to not cook regular barbecue, but we're going to take it and serve it differently. So we've got the jackfruit, and, and I know we've touched on that a little bit. Why is that such a good substitute for people who are vegetarian? Why is it well, similar to, to meat in a way? I know it's going to surprise you. I'm not really a vegetarian, no. <laughs> but, but I heard. I talked to some <laughs> vegetarians. Uh, I think what they like is the texture. You know, it's a good substitute. It's actually a fruit that just processes into this this product that looks like pork, doesn't it? I mean, it looks kind of like the pulled pork. I mean, it's got a little tangy taste. It's a fruit, but it's got nice texture to it. And I, I, as meat substitutes go, I think this makes sense. It's a real product. It's just some fruit that we were able to add with the barbecue sauce. And, you know, it kind of, we want vegetarians to come to our restaurant. Yeah. And, and I don't want you to not be able to come because your vegetarian friend doesn't have something to eat there. We're not going to be crazy like that. We're going to have lots of big pieces of meat. If you want that, we're going to have that. <laughs> but I want you to bring your vegetarian friend too. Well, you got to give Lee something to do. Again, you said he comes from Texas. So yeah. we've got to uh, throw, a, throw an homage, if you will, to the old school well, barbecue as well. Been, 
came about a year too early to work with us, and he's been <laughs> making hamburgers and stuff at Dats. And while he's good at that, he really wants to cook barbecue. Get to the barbecue. And we're getting close. I'm ready. I'm I was going to say, getting close. People it's are counting down. And if you want to stay up to date and find out just how close, well, be sure visit drbarbecue.com and also the social networking. That's where it's at. Dr. Barbecue just found me on Twitter. So see, follow him on Twitter as well, and you'll stay up to date on everything that's going on. Guys, Lee, Dr. Barbecue, thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Thank you.